What's everybody doing? I know you guys are so excited, right? If you're a Mac user or something like that, like a Mac, or if you don't have like a multiple monitor computer and you're like into music, mixing and everything, if you have like an iMac or a MacBook Pro like I do, like I have a MacBook Pro 2015, there's a secret trick where you can have a separate mixer in a different desktop, which if you don't have like a second monitor or or a multiple monitor computer, you know, where you can put like a mix console on the separate monitor, your workflow on the on the other monitor, and the plugins on the other monitor. Nuendo has a multiple amount of mix consoles, which it has mix console one, mix console two, mix console three, so that you can have your own functions of what groups you really want to put. The mix console feature is available in Cubase. All right, it is available in Cubase, so. To all Cubase users, you have that Mix Console feature as well. So don't be upset. You have that feature. But this is a little bit of a short video, but I know it's going to be a little longer without expecting. I know I just used my other hand because it's hurting. I know I'm trying to do this introduction. To all you Cubase users, don't be upset because you have that feature as well with the Mix Console things. So follow along, and I'm going to go ahead and get on right to my computer and show you that trick of adding a second desktop and have a different mix consoles. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, folks. So here is the trick. So, you know, if I want to make something, for example, you know, let me just show you this workflow that I'm doing. So I have almost done with my composition, which is called the Five Magnificent. Okay, so if I go to Studio, you know, and I do want to do some mixing. I know there are four mix consoles, but for Cubase, you pretty much have three. Okay, so I'm going to open my mix console, and you get all of these guys out here. You can press the spray bar to play the music. So you get all of these guys out here. But you want to go back and then just do this, you know, this, this, you know, you're just going back and forth like this. You know what I mean? But you'll, but with that trick, you might end up doing the same thing. But when it comes with this trick with the mix console, you decide to have on a separate desktop screen. Okay. Well, this is for if you don't have like a multiple monitors, you know, you have a separate monitor or an external monitor. You know, if you're a, a person who uses the laptop, you can still have an external monitor, you know, to have the mix console or the project workflow, okay? So I'm really focused on this video talking about using a trick by having a mix console on the second desktop. Apparently, with a Mac, there is no full screen. Like, you can't full screen this and have... A separate full screen desktop right here you know like if you're full screening for example on Safari you know it does have that if you press the full screen and you just go to the mission control you just get a separate Safari full screen desktop okay but it doesn't have that in mix console okay it doesn't have that so to do this I just want to leave it in full screen I just like to hide the, the title bar and the dock, you know, but when I upgrade to Big Sur one day, I'm going to have to move the dock into pretty much right here on the left, Well, which, which you know, I might change my workspace, okay? So, here's a trick. I want to open Mixing Control, and then I just want to hover it up here. You can see there's a plus button right here. They look at that. Can you see the plus? And if you press it, you get desktop number two. Okay? And if I use three finger swipe on the mouse pad, if you have a Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, it just moves. Okay? It just moves to another desktop. So what I could do is this mix console window is gonna be on desktop number two. You can see that. And you get a separate desktop. Well, fortunately, you can't 
go to Cubase workflow, but you have to go to the desktop one. Or for a very quick so that you don't have to go to the mixer control, it's just do the three finger swipe and then you can just go to the mix console window. Okay? So that's a pretty cool trick. So, you know, for example, I want to to add a compressor in the or EQ in the shadows. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so I want to EQ this mix console window. So I want to increase that frequency. And I just want to lower that a little bit of that boomy sound to avoid from clipping. And I could just route the squasher, open up the squasher and compress some of the parts, everything like that. And, and you have the post effects as well. Well, by the way, this is not a mix console go over video, but I'm just showing you this trick on, you know, how, how you use that trick by putting a separate mix console desktop, just like I did. Like the mix console desktop number two and the workflow of my Nuendo or Cubis project is on desktop number one. But what if I want to add another mix console, okay? So if you have you know, multiple mix consoles, depending on if you're a Cubase user, you know, this depends on the features that they offer you. If you have Cubase elements or artists, but Cubase Pro, you have, you know, multiple mix consoles. Okay. So here's the second mix console. I want to full screen that or maximize it since there's no full screen. You know, I still have this mix console number one right here. Okay. And this one. I could just add another desktop in which it becomes desktop number three and just drag that mix console. Watch this. Drag the mix console to desktop number three and boom, there you go. And what I can do is I can just hide all of these. Like for example, if I want to hide all the drums, you know, for example, the action set number one, number six, in the shadows, that's also a drum. Tycho drum, epid, big toms, deep booms, you know, everything like that. I just want to have, like, for example, melody and everything, you know. And the first mix console, I can just get rid of um, all the things that it doesn't need to be mixed. And I can just have the only the drums here, okay? I can just keep that. I can keep stereo in, stereo out. I can just have this meter right here. Which this will be like, or the F3 function thing will be my original mixer, and I can just have that meter right here. And this one, I can do the same thing. I can just have this meter just to make sure that I keep it on my watch to make sure that it does not reach to zero. And I can just use the loudness meter. But, you know, when it comes with mixing everything and automating, you know, I will have to go back to the workflow just to make sure everything's good. Okay? So that's what you get. You know, and if you want to add a, another mix console, like mix console number three, I can just open that up. You know, you can use only audio, you want to, or audio or anything like that. Get rid of MIDI. You know, I can have that. You know, and, and I just want to open this guy up. You know, get rid of all these instruments. I can just only use, focus on the audio tracks. Okay. I can use only audio tracks on this one on mix console number three. You know, and you can just uncheck all of these guys so just to make sure that's visible. You can do whatever you guys want when it comes with setting up the mix consoles, okay? So if you guys are done, you can just close all the mix consoles, double tap. You know, put it if I go to desktop number three, close that, exit out. And what happens if I X out desktop number two? If I exit it out, the mix console that I have on a separate desktop, it's going to go back. It's going to bring back to desktop number one. That includes the other mix consoles too. Like if I close or exit out by accident on the mix console window, you know, like if the mix console window is there on the other desktop and I close it, the mix console window is going to, take you to whatever to the main desktop okay 
all the mixed consoles will go back and it's going to land you into the main desktop if you close those okay so this is a pretty cool trick you know just play it around you know and it takes a while to get used to it all right so hope that trick helps if you're a windows user i think you might probably do the same thing but the the desktop like this you know it's pretty different you know the functions are really different in windows 10 you know well so yeah so this is how you can do this mixed console trick by having a mixed console on a separate desktop. So you don't have to, you know, just have this, have like two windows overlapping back and forth and just opening mission control every time you do that. You know, I'm doing the three finger swipe up just to open a mixed console. And I do the three finger swipe on the mouse pad in horizontal way by going to the next desktop. So that's pretty cool. You know, if you're interested in doing that trick, if you're a Cubase or Nuendo user, play it around. It's it's really good to have this feature. All right. So if you guys have any questions or anything, any troubles or anything like that, you know, just let us know in the comments. If you agree, slap a like and subscribe. And hope you guys are having a wonderful day.